Hey, stay tuned. We're going to take a look at PowDesk.com. It says Powerful Live Chat, Omni Channel Help Desk. We're going to do an onboarding experience and see if we can take a peek under the covers. Stay tuned. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. We're going to go over this product called PowDesk.com and do an onboarding and get started. And I, I learned about these guys through their sponsored ads on Facebook. Somehow they targeted me and then I checked out their website and I'm probably being retargeting, retargeted from that perspective. But from taking a look at it, you know, it looks like, you know, live chat and help desk software. Um, you know, there's a lot of competition in that space. So what I'm seeing is live chat. They're going for omni channel. So they're talking about being able to do support on Twitter and Facebook and via email and things like that uh, in a unified uh, sort of place. So I'm like, OK, there's you know, there's a lot of companies out there that can do that as well. So I'm still I'm still looking for that unique proposition here. Let's take a look at their their features. Um, mobile apps, very important to be on mobile uh, scheduler quick responses, ratings and surveys, multi-brand support, uh, omni-channel visitor IDs. That's kind of interesting. You can build a rich profile and link everything together. Uh, let's take a look at their pricing. You know, not completely crazy pricing here, but I mean, that this competes with the same pricing that you see from other companies that are doing the omni-channel stuff like your Kayako and your Help Scout and your Zendesk and things like that. Maybe a little bit less but pretty much similar here. But what they do have is a free trial with no credit card uh, required. Let's take a look at their integrations. That might be a good differentiator. Um, Facebook, WordPress, all the websites it looks like. Uh, e-commerce, looks like an e-commerce focus. Slack, very important. Uh, Viber, that's something that I'm not familiar with but may be big in certain part of the world. Um, so, so nothing that stands out there. So let's let's log, let's set up an account and just see how easy it is. And I mean, it might just blow me away with the ease and simplicity. Because I will say, I mean, from their branding, it looks like they're going after kind of that e-commerce store. You can kind of see e-commerce pictures here as they talk, and that tends to be, you know, a, a piece of software you want to make very easy for those users. So let's go ahead and start a free trial and check out what's under the covers on Pile Desk. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my TechSmart Boss email and register for a free account. And let's see how they walk me through the setup and, and take a look at exactly what's going on. I do like their, their, their style and the appearance of their branding. I mean, this is the little guy who's in the Facebook ads here, uh, the reverse P. Uh, okay, so now let's go ahead and set up uh, information here put in a password giving me some feedback accepting their agreement and register and I'm inside in their onboarding uh, wizard here so let's take a look here help you visualize and set up a pile desk okay so this is gonna set up my my chat wizard I'll say don't show this again now let's walk through tell me about what is the URL of your site so I'll put in techsmartboss.com and okay so it's going to actually go out there and give me a little future vision of what my site can look like with the with the pile desk chat icon on there and let's see what comes back here um hmm how do i like it i'm not seeing too much now i am using firefox you know some Companies do have a little bit of issue with Firefox, but I didn't get much from that. Let's go ahead and finish. Now, one thing I did notice, and I did take a look at their chat widget from their website. Let's click on it here. Um, you know, this is just for support at this aspect. So it changed now that I'm logged in. But let's go back out to PileDesk.com. And one thing that I do notice that's kind of nice here is take a look at that. They give you a little bit of options. You can go and tweet them or hit them on Facebook or you know hit them on uh, email or do the live chat with them so a little bit different type of approach to the chat if you do Facebook this is not just gonna take you out to their Facebook page it takes you to their messenger so they're integrating with messenger maybe there's some bot type features going on here but let's just take a look at um, 
their 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 dashboard or console here. So nice organization. I mean, nice nice graphics here. I don't have any messages at the at the moment. Let's see, I've got conversations. I can assign them to groups. I've got tickets that are coming in. Of course, I'm not going to have any at this point. I've got all my contacts here. Looks like you could do some blacklisting to stop people from trolling on your chat widget there. Under the administration, we've got some coming soon stuff, so they're definitely still evolving their platform. Um, but you've got your website widget. You can, looks like you can do some embedding into your application. You've got chat, email, Facebook, Twitter, and they've got a, a bunch more coming. So that looks interesting. And then I can set up agents and groups and signatures. A little knowledge base. That actually wasn't on. Let's go on the knowledge base. So it looks like they give you the ability to set up your own knowledge base. And I'm sure there's going to be some hooks into making that available through the chat widget and through answering tags, product. Let's see what's under product. Okay, so products that you support, I'm assuming there. Uh, geographical area, perhaps, yes. It's up if I'm sure you could probably maybe set up some some sort of automation or something based on that. There's our integration. Zapier, they didn't list that on their website, and that's a big one right there. You could do a lot with Zapier. Let's look at the email. So this is one thing I was wondering about. It looks like you can and you can pick the group so you can set up multiple channels one thing I do notice it talks about unlimited uh, channels that you can bring in even though you're paying per agent I think if you are in an agency you'll see here multiple brand support you can have emails come in from all different sorts of emails and you can most likely reply back to them on specific brands so I think one of their niches is going to be around an agency where you're supporting multiple companies because with that agent fee many of the other products do charge you on a per mailbox or a per channel type of perspective so that's one thing that might be a little bit unique in their their pricing and then live statistics that's probably going to tie in with their chat widget and show you some things and give you some reports there so pretty straightforward um, I'm gonna actually I just want to do one thing I'm gonna set up an email here. I'm going to add an email channel and I'm going to call this uh, Tech Smart Boss. Tech Smart Boss. I didn't set up my own group, so I'll just leave the test one in there for now. I'll just call it support at techsmartboss.com. I, I, okay, actually, this is asking me to sign in to my email account. So it looks like they support Gmail is their primary integration point at that uh, place. I'm not good. Well, let's actually do it. Let's see what happens when I do this. Um, what is my password? I don't even know my password right now. And let's see if that worked. That's my little remember bear password uh, manager there. I recommend you. Okay. Uh, all right. So it did take me into something here where I can set up my incoming, my outgoing. So this is interesting. I thought actually when I set up my email channels, it was going to give me an address that I could forward emails to. This looks like it actually requires a physical mailbox in Gmail. Now that's that's going to be a cost for that because for each one of these you do have to pay. Um, there are some benefits to doing it this way. Uh, and then it looks like it's going to send the outgoing email through your Gmail. So it's going to look naturally like it's coming from your organization, which I always prefer. And you can listen to my podcast on email deliverability, um, why I like that. So that's a different approach. I'm not going to continue down that path. Let's go and look at uh, doing something with Twitter. See how we connect our Twitter. So I'm already signed in with Twitter. So it should just go straight into that and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause for a second and I'm gonna activate my account because it could be some of these things are not taking place because I have not activated so hang on one second while I go out to my email and do that okay I'm back and now you'll see that little activate my account is missing I've got 14 days on my trial let's go back in there hit that Twitter again and see what this is gonna do 
but that didn't do much either. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do just to take Firefox out the equation because I'm seeing some undefined stuff here. I'm going to pause this for a second and I'm going to bring this back up in Chrome and we're going to give it a try. So hold on one sec. Okay, I'm back. I'm in Chrome. I've got Twitter already pre-logged in over here. Let's try this again and see what's going on. So, uh, you know, that's interesting. Uh, I am in Chrome. I don't even see Facebook showing up as a channel anymore, which I find interesting. I don't know why that would change between Chrome and Firebox. Let's, let's, let's click on Twitter. Let's sign in to Twitter and see if something different happens on this up oh, it's the same thing so it's not I tried it's not the browser it does appear to be the product in this particular case and uh, you know I, I always show the good and the bad in these videos and and right now definitely running into some problems with Powell desk you know I, I think they're going to see this video. They'll probably reach out to me and say they're fixed it. I'll update the notes on that. But I do always put it out just the way that I, I see it. So I would say it has potential. There's a lot of other products out there that are doing the Omni Channel Help Desk for a similar price. They're a little bit more mature and fully baked. So I would say this is early. I probably found them a little early in the stage of taking a look at them. But I will say they, they hit me a lot with those Facebook ads. And they probably need to tweak their ads to check the frequency. And, 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 and they're probably spending a little bit more money on the ads than they should right now. Uh, as they're trying to you know bring in the users. But hopefully this video has opened your eyes up to something like this. And if this is something you're interested in, hey, Put them, try them out for yourself and put them on your list to keep, uh, you know, I always like to subscribe to their social media accounts and just get updates and know what they're doing. And this could be something that is really useful for my business or your business in the future. So if you like this video, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, also check out our Facebook page. Every week we put out a new video and we love to have your feedback. So leave a comment. And also if you have a product you'd like us to take a look at, Put that in the comments or reach out at david at techsmartboss.com. Check out the next video.